Hello, this is the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video on powers of numbers. Now, I have a confession to make. Mathematicians are really lazy. You think writing something like 6 times 6 really isn't much effort. But mathematicians want a short way to do this. Even that's too long for them. So, they have a short way, and it's something like this. 6 with a small 2. So, the larger number here, we call the base, and the smaller number, it's written at the top, but it's written smaller, that number is called the power. It's also called the exponent or the index. It really doesn't matter which of these words you use, power, exponent, or index, I'm just going to stick to power. So, the power tells you how many times that you multiply the base. So, 6 to the power of 2 is not equal to 12. It means exactly what's written here. You take the base and you multiply it by itself this number of times. So, you multiply 6 by itself twice. So, when we raise to a power of 2, we call that squaring. So, the reason is 6 times 6, think of it like a square. It's the area of a square whose side length is 6. 6 times 6, of course, you know the area of that square would be 36, whatever the units are squared. So, 6 to the power of 2 is equal to 36. Something like 7 to the power of 2 is not 14. Please do not make that mistake. 7 to the power of 2 is multiply the base by itself this many times. 7 times 7 is 49. Something like 14 squared. Same thing. It's not 28. It means times 14 by itself twice to get 196. So that is read as 14 squared. Of course, we can have other powers than 2. If I have something like 8 to the power of 3, 8 is the base, 3 is the power. So that means multiply this number, 8, by itself this many times. It's 8 times 8 times 8, which is 512. So the way we can say this quickly is 8 cubed. So to the power of 2 is squaring, to the power of 3 is cubing. So a number is said to be a squared number if it is a number by itself. So 1 is a square number because it's 1 times 1. 4 is a square number because it's 2 times 2. But 3, for example, is not a square number because you can't multiply a whole number by itself to get 3. The next square number is 9, which is 3 times 3, and then 16, which is 4 times 4. So no other numbers less than 16 are square numbers other than the ones written here. So 10, 11, 12, 13, they're not on this list. They are not square numbers. Of course, we could keep going. 25 is a square number because it's 5 times 5. And then we know the next square number is 36, then 49, then 8 times 8 is 64. So it's really helpful if you know your squares up to like 20 squared. That can help you with calculations so well, and it will make your maths career so much easier if you know at least the first 20 square numbers off the top of your head. So you can finish this list for me. It goes 36, 49, 64, 9 times 9 is 81, 10 times 10 is 100, and so on. So I just want to talk briefly about using powers when we have other operations. So as I mentioned in the lesson where we looked at order of operations, we called that bid mass. So remember the I in bid mass stands for index, but I just told you index and power are the same thing. So raising a number to a power, that is like the second thing you do after any brackets. It comes before all other operations. So for example, if I have three plus four squared, I don't add 3 and 4 to get 7 and then square it. I do this first. Index comes before addition. 
So 4 squared is 16. It's 4 times 4. 3 plus 16 is 19. Let's have something like this. So I have a subtraction, a multiplication, and a power. Now, normally I do the power first. The only thing that comes before power, though, brackets. So the first operation I do here is subtraction. So that would become 5, 7 minus 2 is 5, times 8 squared. So now I've got multiplication and index. Index comes before multiplication. So I don't do 5 times 8, I do 5 times, 8 times 8 is 64, 5 times 64 gives me 320. How easy is that? Alright, this has been the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.